Hey y'all, it's your girl Tash Tash Tashana, and I'm back with another motivational and informational video so we can change energies and raise frequencies to help make this world a better place, to help make our world a better place, to help make this world a better place. Yes. If you're new here, my name is Tashana and I'm the founder of The Chosen One's Love. We give out motivational, inspirational, and informational videos as much as we can to help raise energies, frequencies, and vibrations to change mentalities and yes, help make this world a better place. How y'all doing today? I'm doing good today. Thank you for asking. Please like, subscribe, comment, and share whatever you do to help push this channel forward. We really, really greatly appreciate each and every one of y'all. And for our returning supporters, thank you for being here. Today's video is about wealth. Yes, wealth. What is actual wealth? And we need to stop being fooled by what wealth really is. Let's stop being fooled by what wealth really is. Stop being fooled the by the illusion of wealth. Of what wealth is wealth? Out of the English what dictionary. What do you consider wealth? Remember, and stop matrix, believing the lies. So not all words that people tell you mean what they actually what are, is, and not what all wealth words actually are is. the example. Okay, of stop being the fooled by the illusion of wealth. To tell people about. Okay, so the wealth in the English dictionary is an abundance of valuable possessions or money, or the state of being rich, material prosperity or plentiful supplies of a particular resource. Now that's the one they don't want to describe. What do they mean a particular resource? It don't have to just be materialistic shit, which are in the first two definitions because they want you to bring your brain to materialism about wealth, but that is not actual wealth, okay? That's the fake version of what wealth is. Wealth is not big houses, expensive cars, designers, bags, clothes, and shoes, or even a fancy lifestyle. None of that is wealth. It is debt. All of that you have to use your income or use your money to pay for, and then it depreciates value over time. It decreases value over time, and you die and can't take none of it with you. We cannot take none of this material stuff to the spiritual world. So it is all a waste. None of it keeps its value. Even the clothes that you buy or the shoes that you buy that you don't wear, they might increase in some value over time, but not enough to give you wealth. You know how many pairs of shoes you will have to have to create wealth for your heritage, for your lineage, for your legacy? It's not actual wealth, y'all. That is debt. It is debt. It is debt. It is debt. Stop believing in the lies of this media. Stop living in this material world and wanting everything shiny that these elites throw at you, that they want you to be distracted by. All of that is wealth. Stop trying to look like a bag of money. Stop trying to act like you have a bag of money and actually obtain a bag of money and actually have wealth. And I'm going to tell you what wealth actually is. Okay. First of all, the first wealth is health. Mm. The first wealth is health. You have to have good health in order to be experience, in order to experience a great life. So you don't have much complaints. So you see the beauty in everything. So you be able to enjoy things when it's time for you to enjoy things and relax and have fun. That's what the first wealth is. It is absolutely 100% health, okay? For you to be as healthy as you can be. That's why it is important that you work out and you eat healthy and you ingest things and you watch and take in things into your brain that are healthy for you. And I mean healthy financially, mentally, spiritually, emotionally, physically, e mentally. You need to be healthy all the way around the board. That is the first wealth, okay? What else is wealth? What else is wealth? Put some in the description box below. What is some of the wealth that you see inside of your life right now? I want to know. I think me and my kids, we have agape love, unconditional love that we support each other no matter what. That is a wealth. Okay. That is wealth. Wealth is time, freedom, options, and health. Wealth is having the time to do what you want, when you want, how you want, where you want. Okay. 
It's the freedom to go where you want, to fly where you want, to travel where you want, to come and go when you please, to not have to ask nobody to use the bathroom, to not have to ask nobody to go on vacation, to not have to ask nobody what to do next or what you need to do next or when you can have a break. That is wealth, okay? Not having to be tied down to somebody with your time and your freedom, to be able to do anything you wanna do, when you wanna do it, how you wanna do it, where you wanna do it, as long as you wanna do it. That is wealth, okay? Abundance and prosperity comes in all shapes, forms, and sizes, and examples, and environments, and people, and ways. And that's what you have to look for, the positivity, the love, the caring, the kindness. You have to be attracted to those energies, and those energies need to be attracted to you. For you, for you to be experiencing wealth on a different type of level than other people that think they are experiencing wealth when they are really actually only experiencing debt. They're putting themselves in further debt, trying to keep up with the Joneses, trying to look like they rich, trying to act like they got money when they really don't have anything. I don't care to wear materialistic shit or buy a whole bunch of materialistic shit. I'm very much so a minimalist. I am a minimalist with clothes, with shoes, with vehicles, with things that are purchased for my home. I literally only tend to buy things that I need or that we're going to need. Our wants can come later once we build the wealth that we need in order to live the life that we want, meaning we have time freedom, we have money freedom because we invested and we built our investment or our portfolio incomes to where we need them to be so we can travel without worrying about how much money we're spending and and losing and 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 just putting into debt we wouldn't have to worry about those if we actually had the wealth that we desire and that we want what else is wealth wealth is having the options to just be able to be like I can go here, I can go here, I could do this, I could do that, I see this, I see that, I want this, I want that. But knowing that you can purchase these things and have these things and it won't mess up the 100% investment funds that you have for you and your family. It won't mess up the wealth that you built for you and your family. Basically, everything that you spend in that you're that you have the option to spend your money on is of the 20% of your earned income or of any other income that you have that you can spend on your wants and your needs and your entertainment. You don't go beyond that 20% of your budget. And then you'll still be holding on to wealth. You'll still be obtaining your wealth while spending your 20% of debt, which is not going to harm you because you're, you're, you're saving greater. You're investing greater. You're putting more into your wealth fund now so you can have a greater time in life later. Because remember what I told you, it's either going to be easy first and hard later, or it's going to be hard first and easy later. So you have to actually understand what wealth is and what wealth is not. And it is not materialistic shit. It is not clothes and shoes and expensive cars and big ass houses and 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 just spending your money on things because you want things. All that is debt. You're curing debt and you're welcoming debt and you're keeping this going in your generations and for the next generations. So if you want to stop your generational curses as far as having financial freedom or financial debt, you have to be the one to realize where you are falling short at. You have to be the one to realize where you are planting debt seeds into your life versus wealth seeds into your life. You have to be the one to stop the unnecessary spending and the unnecessary placing yourself in further debt. You have to be the one to change your life. You have to be the one to be like, I'm tired of keeping up with the Joneses. I'm tired of struggling. I'm tired of being broke. I'm tired of being poor. You have to learn and read financial literacy books to understand you need to pay yourself first. And paying yourself first is not going out, spending your money, entertaining yourself on food, on drinks, on movies, on clothes, on shoes, on distractions. That is not obtaining wealth, okay? That is obtaining debt. And you want to obtain wealth. That is the golden key to building a legacy and to leaving a legacy for your kids. So you don't leave them more debt, you leave them wealth. And you need to first start out with health, okay? The first wealth is health. You'll never 
go wrong if you invest into your health, okay? Your health is big. You need your health in order to live a happy, joy, positive, peaceful, abundant, prosperable life. You need your health. Your health is number one, y'all. The first wealth is health. So get into your health, okay? Big time. And once you start redirecting your mentality and changing your mentality and getting your mentality straight and getting it focused and getting it disciplined and getting it healthy, your life is going to change drastically. So what is the first wealth? Health. All right, y'all. We need to learn what real wealth is. And we need to teach our kids what will what real wealth is. It is not looking like you got money when you are poor. That is not what wealth is, okay? It's not looking like you spending all this money on clothes and shoes when you can't even pay your bills and your car note or, or for your baby some diapers or for your babies to look better than you look better. That is not wealth. Wealth is abundance, prosperity, peace. Peace is wealth. Just kindness is wealth. Joy is wealth. You have to understand the true value of what wealth is. With all that being said, I hope y'all gained some very valuable information from this video. I love y'all and I hope y'all have a very beautiful, blessed day. Mwah.